Hello, another update from me with some vinyl and some CDs. I start with the CDs I bought at the last few weeks. I uh, found this on the uh, on the internet, and uh, there are two CDs from Base Communion from the side project from Stephen Wilson. The first I want to show you is Molotov and Hayes. It's this one. It's a bit damaged. It's a shame, but it's a CD. And here is the damage, a little bit worn out on the inside of the sleeve. In the inner side, and the back side. CD is from uh, let's see, Important Records in the USA in 2008. So there are two, four tracks on it. Molotov and Corrosive are very loud songs, and Glacial and Haze a little bit less. They are friendly songs, it's called. So Molotov and Haze. Um, and here's the one uh, Ghost of Magnetic Tapes from Base Communion. Ghost on the tape, it's called. Very thick carton sleeve. The inside, the CD, and the back side. So five songs on the first CD. There are two CDs in it. This edition, uh, various editions. I also have the edition on vinyl. This is a um, normal CD, I think. It's Headphone Dust, it's the label. And this is the second CD, and this was remixed. Andrew Lyle's Reconstruction, it's called. So, two CDs on this one. So, now today I went to, uh, to Nijmegen again. And I bought some vinyl. The first I want to show you is this one from Camel. Symphonic rock, symphonic rock band. I like symphonic music. And um, I have one uh, album from Camel, a live album, double live. I don't know this one very well. It's uh, It was very cheap. It was uh, second hand, so as you can see. The inside is a bit damaged with some glue has st sticked on here. It's just the inside. It's from 1981. This one is printed in the Netherlands. It's the back side. You see it's not a clean copy, but I want to listen to it and listen how the music is final. It's on the Decca records. It's, it's not clean. I have to clean it up. Nude. Side one. And side two. And as I speak, I don't know if I have a lot of Decca labels. Rebecca, I don't know. So I'm curious about this one. The second I want to show you, I went to the, to the festival last week and one of the uh, artists was, was Grace Jones. I saw her live and um, the first song when she came on stage was Nightclubbing and I think it's a nice track and uh, I think there are a lot of nice tracks on it. Uh, Walking in the rain, pull up the bumper. Uh, I've seen that face before. It's a bit funky, a bit danceable. I, I like this thing one, I think. I don't know this album, but I know a lot of songs. So Grace Jones, of second hand. This is some Island Records. Uh, let's see, this is the Zeit Zwei. This is a German press, I think. Side one. And side two. From which year this is 1981 as well. So very nice. Another band, another person I saw on the, on the festival was Tom York, and uh, I must say Tom York was great. Uh, the new, new album Enema is coming out next week. So for all the fans, I think it's a good album. I saw it live, I listened to it on the internet. I ordered the record, it's coming out here on 19th of July. 
very nice. And one album I didn't have, I thought I had it on CD, was this one. He played a song on it and it was very nice. I'll put in my knife. So Adams for Peace uh, with, with Flea from, uh, from Metal Chili Peppers of course and Nigel uh, Godrich, the, the producer from a lot of radio ad albums and he also plays uh, live with, uh, with Tom York. And uh, there's another, I don't know his name, a Dutch guy on the podium live and he, he's for the, physic, for the visual effects and it's great. It's a great show if you have the possibility and you like Tom York, Radiohead, yeah, I must say you have to go to a concert. Very, very good. So on the festival there were lots, a lot of good names. It was in, uh, in Beuningen, down Rabbit Hall, it's called. And a very nice festival. So this is Adam Sopis. It's not a gatefold. And this is the front. I don't know, maybe you know it already. Amok is called and this is the backside. It's a double album. It's on 45, so it's a uh, nice quality. I will always show you one, one label. It's enough, I think. On XL Records, I think, lately the Radiohead albums also on the XL Records. On the back side is the same, I think. So let's uh, hope to have it that I have a good, bought a good album on this one. I think so. The next one I bought. Um, is this one from the National? Uh, I know the National by name, um, and on the concert I um, I met some someone and he likes music a lot. He says, "Oh, I fell in love with the National." And um, well, I saw this one in the record shop and thought, "Now let's see if I like it also." And this is why I bought this one. It was also in the in the records that weren't so expensive. I'm very curious. The front, the house, and the picture inside. And uh, oh, that's why I didn't see it when you have the cover on. This one is on on the photo. The inside, nice pink. It looks like a bit like Suspiria from Tom York, and this is the back side. And if I'm correct, this is on colored final. Some blue vinyl side A and TL. I don't know what this, what it's standing for. National, I guess. Not for a label. And the second one is also on transparent blue vinyl. No text on it. I think this is from 2017. Yes, I saw that there was a new album out from the National. So Maybe I'll hear it, hear it also. The last one that I bought was an album I already had. Uh, and today uh, I went to university and someone uh, wanted, wanted to sell, uh, sell it. And this is a, 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 a still sealed copy of uh, In Absentia by Pokemon Tree, well known of course. Um, it wasn't that expensive, so I thought, well, a, a nice clean copy. This one is very good. It's from Tone Float, so I'll show you my other Tone Float. This was second hand, I bought a year ago, I think, and I bought it twice as expensive as this one. So, so of course, I like uh, the cover, Lasso Hoyle. Nice, I think it's Lasso Hoyle himself on the photograph. The inner sleeve. The inside of the sleeve, the train, tracks, this is on the black vinyl, there's also a version on marbled white vinyl, this is also on tone float, 
And lately uh, there are reissues on, uh, on white and black vinyl from this album. So I'll show you only one vinyl from this set. So this is the black with no text on it. It's a tone float touch label, which the label makes a lot of nice reissues. Here is the inner sleeves. Nice pictures. The lyrics. One of the best albums from Porcupine Tree. Of course, Fear of Bank Planet is also very, very nice. And the lyrics. So, I will turn up, I think, first Grace Jones. And uh, maybe till next time. Bye bye.